following. This is a little bit more. This is a little bit more tricky. And actually, let me um, pull this up. This is like uh, two separate portions that were the derivative was taken and then they were combined. All right, so we can what we can do here is we can break this up into the integral of x. So I'm breaking up the numerator, and we're gonna have the well, it's the same denominator in both of them. So plus one over square root one minus x squared. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll let u equal one minus x squared, and then um, du is equal to negative two x. dx dx. Okay, so this becomes so to get um, for the first for the first portion here to get this equal to just x we need to multiply du by negative one half to get rid of the negative two there and then this is going to be du over uh, u raised to the one half or just square root of u and over here if you look down um, let's see here if you look right here at thirteen. It matches up with that, so we have plus and I'll go ahead and take the integral of this. We end up with uh, arc sine of u, which is gonna be the x in this problem over a, which is just one, plus c. And plus c covers for both of them. Alright, so well, sorry, this should have well should have been u, or not u, but just x. Okay, um, for this, okay, so for this, u raised to the negative one half. So this ends up becoming, um, So we end up with negative square root substitute back in for u, 1 minus x squared, plus, again, I'm just copying down exactly what I had above because I already did it, plus c. And that's it. And what happens here if you took if you take the derivative of this um, and then you combined everything, you could end up with exactly what you had in the original statement. So anyway, I hope this helped you out. I really appreciate appreciate you watching this video here, and you make sure you have yourself a great day.